All right, a lot to talk about, Chris. Thank you. Tonight, we are learning some new details about a violent robbery in Lexington caught on surveillance video. Lexington police have an arrest warrant for one of the men they're looking for, 30-year-old Darnell Thomas, Jr. They say Thomas and another man robbed the Tobacco Zone on North Broadway Friday night. Now police are trying to figure out if that robbery is connected to 15 others around the city. Victor Puente has the latest in our top story at 6. It's surveillance video that's gotten a lot of attention. A woman fighting a robber and using his own gun against him. Now Lexington police are trying to determine if that man is connected to 15 other robberies in the city. Since this video was released over the weekend, Zara Adil says she's been surprised by how many people have seen it. It's been weird. Like, I'm not used to so much attention. I'm an introvert. I stay to myself. She was working in her family store Friday evening when two men came in as they were closing. One had a gun and demanded money, but as he was getting the cash, he put his gun down. That's when she grabbed it and a fight began between the two. Police say during that fight, multiple shots were fired and it's possible the robber was hit. During the fight, she pulled off his mask. Police say underneath was 30-year-old Darnell Thomas, Jr. I'm glad he's eventually going to get caught. Over the past two months, 15 other Lexington businesses have been robbed by two armed men. Adele thinks it was the same two who came to her store. The same gun. It was the same gun that the police got. So I believe it's the same guy. Lexington police have said Adele was very fortunate to have not been injured during the struggle. She says the thought of people taking from her parents' business was more than she could handle. And while she fought that robber, the other people in the store ran. When they realized what was going down, they just took off running. Um, one of the guys actually stuck around because I had his $93 in my drawer. Adele told me she recognized Darnell Thomas Jr. She said he'd been in her family store before as a customer. In Lexington, Victor Puente, WKYT. Lexington police say they are looking into whether Darnell Thomas Jr. was involved in those other robberies, but they do not want to rule out any other suspects.